track with all the feet we placed in the exhibit. They will also participate in a short training session. Okay, we'll talk a bit more about that. But enough our ranting and rambling. So, are we ready to see the elephants of Asia? Yes! Okay, come on guys, I need more energy, okay? Are we ready to see the elephants of Asia? Yes! Okay, it's a good crowd today. Okay, so, we're going to let them in. My colleague in the back is going to open the gate. There's another gate right at the back. Okay, and you'll see our three lovely ladies come right in. Okay, and when that happens, I need your help to cheer as loudly as you can once you see them, okay? Because they really like encouragement. They have our little divas over here. They like all the attention. Okay, so once you see them, please cheer as loud as you can. This will encourage them to come on over because they like all the attention. Okay, and speaking of our lovely divas, we have our first lady at the back. Give it up for Gambe. Come on guys, cheer, do a louder cheer so she will know to come on down. Yes, you see, she's walking much faster. Alright, follow behind her is Aprila and Intan. Okay, so, first in front, Gambe, she is one of our Malaysian elephants. Whereas, the other two behind, Aprila and Intan, they are our Sumatran elephants. Okay, so they are the same species of elephant, just different subspecies coming from different parts of Asia. So you can see a bit of their differences. Okay, the Sumatrans are much hairier and they're a bit smaller in size. Whereas Gambe, our Malaysian elephant, she has a bit more coloration on her, a bit more pigmentation and she's a bit larger. Okay? So as you can see, we placed some carrots in the lock in front. Okay, we sort of hidden them right in the front and they will always go for the carrots first. This because this is the juicier and more tasty food. Okay, compared to the leaves and the branches, they always will like to uh, quickly stuff all the sweeter things like the carrots in their mouth first. Okay, then you can also see Aprila over here sticking her trunk inside this hollowed out rock. Okay, so in this rock, there is a cage. It's an enrichment box. We put the food inside and it will allow her to stimulate her mind uh, and also exercise all her muscles. Okay, because she needs to forage and look around for the food. Okay, so this helps to exercise them physically and mentally as well. So a bit more about their diet here. Each elephant eats about 100 kilograms or 150 kilograms of food a day. Okay, just a single elephant. So if you do the math real quick, since we've got five elephants here, that means me and my team, we will have to move about 500 kilograms of food every day. Okay, just to keep our lovely ladies happy. Alright, you can see Intan is very excited to come on down and join us. She even uh, brought some of her food over in her excitement. Alright. So, just a bit more about this training that we do. This is positive reinforcement training. Okay. In this training, it is... Okay, everyone wave hi to Intan. Say hello. She's very excited to meet you guys. Okay, so in this training, you will be familiar if you have dogs and cats because you will do this with your pets as well. So in this training, it's purely voluntary. It's no, the elephants are no way forced at all, okay? It's purely out of their free will. If they want to stay up there, like you see Gambe and Aprila, okay, if you look at the far end, Aprila, she's trying to get the watermelon. Let's see if she can get it. Uh, no, I think she's, she's a tad bit shy, okay? Alright, as I was mentioning about the training, okay, so... In this training, it's purely voluntary. So if they want to stay behind, still forage and eat the other browse, it's okay. Okay, we'll let them take their time. If they don't want to participate, it's okay. All right, but why they want to uh, come on down and join us is because we entice them with all these sweet treats. So you can see all the bananas, apples over here that my colleague Ayman has. Okay, so first, we're going to check on their feet. All right, so as you can see, Ayman, here is trying to get her to show her feet with this bamboo pole. So this is how we do our uh, physical checks for them. They have toenails, so if you can't see, just stand up and uh, look over. Okay, they have these white things on the bottom of their feet, they are toenails, okay? Very much like us, but in Asian elephants, they have five toenails in the front feet and four at the back. And they can overgrow, okay, these toenails like ours can overgrow 
which can lead to cracks and after infections and all these health problems. So that is why we always need to file them down and trim them. Okay, so elephants actually, in fact, they have a very good life. They will eat very nice foods while receiving manicures and pedicures from us all day long. So we can even get uh, them to show their back feet as well. Like you can see, uh, Ayman over here uh, showing how it's done. Okay, so this is how we get them to present their back feet. So a bit more about this training. The training we do is not for entertainment purposes. It's not for fun and games. Okay, the, pur the purpose for this is uh, part of the health care. So we can do all these body checks like the feet. Okay, and for the next one that we're going to do, the next check that we're going to do is we're going to look inside their mouths. Okay, so with that, I need your help. On the count of three, can you say, ah, one, two, three. One. Okay, very good. You guys will make very good elephants. You all can be trained as elephants. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so have a close look right inside their mouth. They have four teeth in total, and it's very far back in their jaw, uh, back of their jaw. Okay, they got two on the top and two at the bottom. So you see those pearly whites at the back? They're fairly large. Each tooth is about my palm open up, my hand open up, or even larger. Each tooth can weigh about 1.5 to 2 kilograms. Okay, very very steady and heavy. Good for. Uh, crunching down on that fibrous material, on the plant matter. Okay, they have very strong jaws and teeth. Okay, so they can easily crack open a large fruit. Okay, sometimes even the tree stem, they can bite it in half. Okay? Okay, so, now for our last action that we want them to do. Okay, we're gonna get them to do, do it now. But I recommend you guys, if you haven't gotten your cameras out, do take it out now. Okay, and put it in video mode. Okay, because we're going to get them to lie down in the water. Okay, it's a very interesting action. You don't see elephants lying down very frequently because you need to build... They feel very vulnerable when they lie down. Okay, so they don't like to do it so often. Okay, but here our elephants trust us so much that they're willing to do it. And also because there's a large piece of reward, a large piece of fruit for them. So there goes Aprila. There she goes! Alright! And Intan's a bit shy, but she's going to do it soon. Okay, to complete this action, they will not only have to lie down on one side, they will have to lie on the other. So there goes Intan. Yeah, good job. Okay, so why we do this yet again? It's not for fun and games. There are several reasons for this. One is we want them to wash off all the dirt on their bodies. Okay, that's elephants. They like to you know, throw mud on themselves, as you can see. Another, the main reason is so that we can check on their mobility. You know, when they, whether they can lie down, they can kneel properly. Okay, and it also allows us to do special checks on their face, their tummies as well. We can even do ultrasound scans. Okay, that is why we condition our animals to do these behaviours. Okay, so our elephants have been very active and participative. Okay, so now it's time for you to uh, pull your weight as well. So what? What's going to happen now is a very simple Q&A uh, portion. I'm going to ask a question, and if you know the answer, do raise your hand, and if you answer it correctly, you get to come on down and receive a prize. So let me ask the question. Okay, yes, yes. In time, yes, I'm getting to it. Okay, she's very excited. Okay, so the question is, okay, common media, in TV, in newspaper, or pictures, or whatever, you always see elephants have a very uh, unique and interesting uh, facial feature. Okay, but this facial feature is absent in our elephants. Does anyone know what feature I'm talking about? Okay, I see somewhere at the far end. Okay, yes. Did you say Tas? Alright, she is correct. Okay, what is your name? Okay, give it up for Amber, very brave girl. Thank you very much. Okay, come on down and receive your prize. You're okay with uh, getting wet, right? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Okay, for that, okay, you will get to receive a very nice. Oh, at the far end we got uh, Gambe reaching for watermelon. Okay, but if not, remember you get to feed Umbrella a coconut. So remember, I mentioned that they have a very strong bite force. Oh, it's okay. Coconuts float, so she will find it. Okay, so everyone listen out for the cracking sound. Okay, thank you so much, Amber. So you can see elephants, they easily can eat a very large 
and strong fruit because they've got very strong bite force so nothing is wasted okay we've got time for one more question so we've established that the tusks are missing does anyone know why they do not have tusks here okay yes sir because they are they are females and he is correct what is your name sir Okay, give it up for Vada, very brave boy over here. Give it up, guys. Okay. So, for your prize. Okay. Do you want to come on down with your son? Might need some help for this. Okay, he gets a watermelon not to bring home to eat. But do we eat in time. So you'll see it done wrap the truck around it and then she'll bring it in. But don't worry, watermelons do float as well. And she will look for that watermelon. Okay, I think she's got it. Okay, let's uh, give them a round of applause, Vardan and Father. Okay, thank you. And a quick photo of Thank you so much guys. Okay, we come to the end of the QA section. Okay, I've got a very quick uh, conservation message from our parent group, Mandai Wildlife Group. Okay, here at our company, we support over 40 different conservation projects in the region. Very important in protecting wildlife such as elephants in the wild. Okay, so one of these conservation projects we support is an elephant rescue unit in Kambas Wai, South Sumatra National Park, where six elephants and their mahouts will patrol the park Okay, looking out for illegal activities like poaching and even mitigate human animal conflicts. Okay, this is very important in protecting elephants in the area. Okay, but why am I telling you this very, very long grandmother story? Okay, it is because just by you being here, you are in fact contributing to such conservation projects. Because in our parks, every dollar you spend, be it for your entry tickets or for token feeding tickets, Part of the proceeds goes into funding such projects. So give yourself a pat on the back for being such conservation champions. Okay, and with that, I've come to the end of the elephant presentation. But before you leave, I need your help in showing your appreciation to my amazing team. Okay, give it up for Ayman over here. Okay, Shafika and Sharif. And of course, our three beautiful ladies. Okay, wave bye to them. We've got Intan. Okay, we've got Aprila and we've got Gambe. My name is Jonathan with the Elephant Care Team here. Thank you so much for visiting us. Stay safe, enjoy the rest of your day at Singapore Zoo and bye-bye.